morning everyone. Hey, good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody. How is everybody doing today? You guys, I know you guys have snow and rain and sleet and all the cold stuff, but here in Arizona, it's gonna be 88 degrees. So I've got sandals on, capris on, short sleeves on, and I'm yeah, ready do. for the weather. We've had the door open. It's been in the 70s this morning. It got down to a cool, nippy 62 degrees last night. But anyway, you guys, um, we're loving this weather. It's absolutely beautiful. How is everybody doing on kicking it up a notch in November? So many of you guys have lost weight. You guys have broken your weight loss stall. You guys are finally into the new lower... Um, category as far as your weight loss is concerned and that is absolutely awesome you guys today i'm kicking it up a notch it's a regular eating day just eat whenever you're hungry harry and i are going to eat two meals no snacks and we're adding our collagen you guys now you guys want to remember to eat more protein today because tomorrow's that omad 500 calorie day so we try to eat a little bit more protein on the day before and the day after. So just remember that when you guys eat today, I suggest you guys do your eating. And we did our bone broth yesterday, you guys. I got all my bone broth, look at this. So nice and beautiful, mmm. Got what, five jars of that? Thick, yeah. I got five and a little one. Mmm. Harry likes that so much better than this bone broth. Oh, <laughs> it's like, oh yeah. so here you go. So Harry, which bone broth do you like better? Gee, let me think. That one. It's because we use all of the plants to yeah, give you it know, flavor. It's got a lot this of flavor. This is plain. Yeah, you can add stuff to that. 95 grams of sodium, which was from the chicken. They didn't add salt to this even. So, yeah, I use this for cooking. It's a, I think of it like a base, and then you can add all the stuff to it yes. you want yes, you to make it the way you like it. Yes, you That can. way anybody can eat it. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Anyway, you of course guys, I'm absolutely everything <laughs> that happens to you the day before, if you have to take antibiotics, if you have to take over-the-counter pain meds, if you change your vitamins over, because vitamins have fillers in them. If you, if you switch out or change to a different brand, um, the medication you take, stress, stress produces cortisol. Sleep or lack thereof can all play a big part on water retention, water weight gain, stall, weight loss stall. So with that, I wanna share with you guys what we had yesterday that was perfectly keto. Yesterday was a big old mad day for us, and I, we had chicken with cream cheese and Frank's Red Hot. So I guess buffalo chicken, cracked chicken, it was really, really yeah, good. Yeah, it was really good. And um, Harry had more than I did. And then we each had chocolate peanut butter ice cream that was made with heavy whipping cream and half and half, and we gave mom some. I had pork rinds, and Harry had pork rinds. Now, we had mac pork rinds, which are the salted vinegar, vinegar and salt mac, which is a brand we've never had before. Our kids, Chalice and David, didn't like that, so we had it. It was quite salty yesterday. We had two scoops of collagen and six tablespoons of coconut almond milk. And you guys, yesterday I had a whole can of rain. Rain has three carbs. For, per can so originally I was going to have this but then I added my three grams to that so these my carbs actually were 20.8 grams my fat was 60% fat for a total of 80.4 grams 34% protein for a total of 105 101.5 and I had a total calories of 1213 yesterday Harry had 5% carbs for a total of 20.3 grams 65% fat for a total of 112.9 grams. He had 30% protein for a total of 118.9 grams, and he had 1616 on the calories. Now, 
I remember when I was drinking rain every day and I had a horrible weight loss stall. I could not lose weight and I totally forgot about that. I had rain, it was delicious. And you guys, it stopped my weight loss today. So I didn't go down, but look what happened to Harry, you guys. Harry went up one and six tenths pound. Yeah, I'll go over that in a minute. He'll go over this with you guys right now when he does the big board. Because everything that you do the day before has a direct effect on what happens today. So let's go to the big board with Harry. I'm touching your face. There. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so I went up a pound. What was it? A pound, pound and six tenths. Six tenths. And I, I know why. Now well, I'm going to show you in a minute. But first I want to want to show you something else. What I did was I graphed out everything that's on this board here. So we can kind of like see where we're going. And what's really cool about this is that you can actually see a trend. Well, who's blue and who's red? Wendy is Wendy is uh, blue. I'm red. Okay. You can kind of you can see the trend. And this is this is when we did that all time low, and this is the other all time low over here on this side. So what happened? You can see how like I'm kind of going really big sweeps. Now this is all relative. I only go with pounds. I did not go with tenths of pounds on this to because it was would have been ridiculous and you don't it doesn't really show you that much difference but it shows let go, you let me go here it shows you uh basically what's busy going on these are two meals two meals in one day this is an omad day two meals this is an omad at 500 calories and so on down just like what we've been doing up above so it is the kicking it up a notch yeah this is all kicking it up a notch and you can kind of see like Wendy stayed in the 75% range, uh, kind of, she went up and down, but this is basically where it was. And then I was really making a big swing here, up and down. But when you get down to here, right, this is our all time low, look what happened. Boom, we went up. So you go up, you know that this is affected by what we ate on this day. So you go up to 13, right here. You can see where we both went down because this is our all-time low in the ATL. And you can kind of get an idea of what we ate here that caused us to go up. This is really important data because it tells us at a glance right here what's working and what isn't. And it brings it down into a more condensed um, Findings so you can kind of see what really works and what doesn't because look we were really doing good here And then we kind of stopped and it the body's gonna fight you can Your see all-time low. Yeah, it's my all-time low is right here And so is Wendy's you can see how my body's really trying to it doesn't want to stay there But then we had another all-time low. But then we had another all-time low here and Then look what's happening here now. Why did I go up so high yesterday because look at this this was yesterday's. I went up basically two pounds if you, when you round it off, right? right? Went up two pounds. Well, I had to go to the dentist because I have, when, when they did the extraction, there's a bone that wants to come out the side of. Well, you the, thought it was. Well, you. And I thought it was something stuck in there. Right, because you could feel it. It was sharp. Right. So before I go to the dentist because of the heart problem I've had, they make me take uh, a moxicillin. And I have to take four of these, and every single time I have to take this, I usually go up about a pound and a half. Yeah, because you have to take four, four of them. them, and you just yes. inject them right into your system, and then all of a sudden, the body starts, you know, doing its thing, starts holding the water. So I know I'm going to lose this. But, but you I, also said you were in pain because that you thought it was a piece of the toothbrush. Yeah, I thought um, it was a piece of toothbrush brush, uh, bristle. bristle stuck in there because it's real small, and, and it's hitting the side of your you mouth. Feel it. And then I went down there and he started checking it out and looking. He said, oh, no, that's a piece of bone. And he explained to me what happens. And he says, I could dig it out. He says, but if I was you, I'd just let it go. And it will basically finally just come out of there. But it bugs you. It's rubbing yeah. It's rubbing the side of your mouth. You can feel it. And it's driving you nuts. Well, so not that badly. But you now know, that you know what it is, you I think? know what it is. So I understand what's going on now. So uh, I'll just let it, uh, the body do its thing and basically get rid of it on its own. Unless it gets so, unless it comes out further, he said, if it comes out more, then we'll just have to take it off. He says, but it's, you're going to be in pain for about three days if I have to do that. So he says, if I do, I just try this and see if that works. And you so said, no, good. thank you. No more digging in my mouth. Right. I'll take, I'll, I'll just I'll, let it I'll sit there. I'll try this out and see if it works. But anyways, this is really something that maybe if you guys are tracking, I don't know how many of you guys are actually tracking and doing all the stuff that we're doing, because we're trying to like bring it right down to the finite. 
um, is take your days and see what's what where you're coming down and what's causing you to go back up. Um, if you hit an all-time low, the body's going to fight. It's going to fight you. Right. To want to, it's going to try to rebound, and you can see how it rebounded on me here big time. Just a little bit, but then it hit again. Yeah, and then, it, then we hit another all-time low, and body tried to go back up. And then it went back, dropped right down immediately, and then, of course, this is what happened here. Now, this, on this day, the big, this is the big Cobb salad that we had. On the 14th, from the 14th. On the 14th. So that brought, which was, what, Saturday? Yes. So and it, and you knew that that would happen I with our that, lettuce I, I, and I thought I was going to go up. I did instead. <laughs> and Woody thought she was going to go down. It was just the opposite. Yeah, yeah. So was, I'm sure there was canola oil or soy yeah, oil or safflower the, oil in the dressing. Something in there that her body really reacts to. But on on but if you notice, we kind of both kind of go along the same lines. When we go out, we yeah. tend to go up, we, you know, know, when we went out and oh, had yeah. those, you know, and, but you know what, are we going to stop going out to no. eat? No. We're just going to know that it potentially can cause right. water weight gain like those chicken wings did. Yeah. Right. Because the chicken wings, um, had some kind of breading and stuff. And it was funny because when we were at the Spurs cafe and we were talking that when you go out and you, even if it's like a dry rub that they're using. There's probably hidden sugars or the salt, you know, table salt and stuff um, that restaurants use. So we knew that. And I'm still gonna go out. I'm still gonna have a big cob salad. I'm still gonna have, you know, what I want. And if I go up, I go up. If I don't, I don't. And that's awesome. But um, that's just something to, to look at. Also your intestinal tract. If you guys aren't regular, that can cause issues too, which was happening to me. Uh, earlier this week. Well, yeah, because you're holding yeah. water and in your And then I gut. had issues with my hands, you know, um, from doing the big filing project and working on my closet. So I had pain, physical pain. You have pains in your knees. You guys, um, the weather changes, you know. Uh, you get the farmer's aches, you know, the knees or his hands ache, and he knows there's going to be bad weather ahead kind of a thing. I think it's true. And the barometric pressure happens in the air, I think that causes issues, you know, so I'm not worried about it. I know I'm going to go down. I'm, I know that today we're going to eat healthy. I've got some ground buffalo that I'm going to make, um, ground buffalo bowls for Harry with eggs. And I'm going to make an omelet with, uh, a little bit of cheese and I'm gonna make a big omelet with the buffalo meat and have like that ground beef delicious tasting big omelet um, that's what I want but I'm not hungry it's 930 and probably it seems like we tend to eat more after 11 1130 mm -hmm. you know I intuitively eat even though it's I'm not trying to fast today because it's not a fasting day I'm not gonna eat until I'm hungry I just listened to what my body said. We did have our, our, our sweetened collagen coffee this morning. It was cool. It was delicious. Uh, it was cool weather with the doors open. And Harry I, and I already had our collagen coffee. And that tends to make us not hungry. You know, we put a scoop of collagen in there. We put the Khalifa pumpkin spiced um, creamer in there and we put our stevia french vanilla hairy head english toffee flavor in his and it's just a delicious treat in a fall day so we've had that and we're not hungry right now so anyway folks i will bring everybody back uh in the next segment when we do break our fast and now we have bone broth so harry can have good bone broth that's right so for the next couple days so i made it in time for tomorrow's 500 calorie omad day so that we can push through that hope everybody's doing great hope everybody's having a great day so far we'll come back in the next segment okay you guys this is today's menu and i am making a uh three egg omelet Ooh. and i'm gonna have the rest of the ground beef with enchilada sauce on mine i'm gonna cook it in butter I'm having three ounces of chicken and uh, that's the rotisserie chicken and a tablespoon of mustard and then I'm having orange uh, cream ice cream for dessert. I'm having two cups, uh, 
two scoops collagen. I had half a scoop of MCT powder by Perfect Keto this morning in my coffee and a total of six tablespoons coconut almond milk by Khalifa. Um, so, total, no, so you didn't break that up. That kind of freaked me out. It's like, you're going to eat all that this morning? I'm having my omelet for breakfast. I'm having my chicken and ice cream for dinner. Got it. Sorry. Sorry. Got sorry. It. Got it. Yeah, guy need Harry to keep me accountable. Keep me on track. Okay. 4% carbs for a total of 13.9 grams. 62% fat for a total of 85.5. 34% protein for a total of 106.7. My total calories are 1,267. Harry's having a big beef bowl, but it's not beef. It's ground bison, you guys. He's yeah. having four fried eggs on top of seven ounces of ground bison. It's going to be cooked in two tablespoons of butter, and he's going to love it, and that's going to be his breakfast. For dinner, he's having that leftover sirloin strip steak with a tablespoon of that horseradish mustard on it. And then you're having your orange ice cream for dessert. Okay. You're having your two scoops of collagen and your six tablespoons of the coconut almond Khalifa milk. And 4% carbs total for a total of 13.5 grams. 60% fat for a total of 102 grams. 36% protein for a total of 137.9 grams because we're going into a low 500 calorie when meal a day and you're having bison today. It's leaner, you mm -hmm, know. Mm -hmm. Calories are 1,555. So, this is the bison, had it out, Harry's going to have. Okay. So I'm going to cook it, and then I'm going to get our eggs and everything ready for our breakfast, you guys. So come back after I get the bison all ready and cooked, and we start on our breakfast today. Okay, so I took the buffalo ground bison out of the pan, but I left the meat drippings in there, and then I added a tablespoon of butter for Harry, and hopefully they don't stick. That's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Yeah, because you just got through cooking the bison. Bison in there, in there and I, there's hardly any any fat at all with bison, but there was some delicious drippings, so. Oh, Harry's right in my way and he's mad at me. Oh, well, look at, do you want some of these? I have other hands. Yeah. I have one set of hands. Oh, a right and a left, and I'm left. You can move on another area. You don't need to block me. You're isn't bad. He, isn't he a wonderful person? You're bad. You screwed up my, you ruined my shot. Goodness sakes, I ruined the shot. Here, I'm reaching over your shot. <laughs> reaching over. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. I'm going to make my omelet. So, I got my eggs, and I'm going to add some water. Ready? Because water makes the eggs fluff. Then I've got three ounces of my hamburger enchilada sauce mix. I'm going to heat that up. I've got Harry's buffalo bison all mixed in here. I put some Byron's butter up and some Himalayan, or not Himalayan, Redmond salt, Redmond real salt in there. That's getting all ready for him. This is the rest of the bison right here. Sally, oops. Sally hasn't had eggs in a while. You're here for your egg? Yeah. Here for your eggs? Here they come. Here it comes. Mm -hmm. She's taste testing the egg right now. Marty, open the, the microwave door. Grab it real quick. It's, I heard it popping. That means it's too hot. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Oh, yeah, it's delicious. There's some on the back. Miss some. Okay, yeah, oh boy. See what I mean? I heard the pop. Oh yeah, look at there. What huh? a mess. That's why we got that thing. Well, it's popped outside of everything. All right, I'll, I'll get it. 
it hot? Yes, very. Okay, yours is done. And this is going to be a mess to get out. Oh, I knew yeah, it would. Look at there, it's stuck. I knew it would be. It's stuck in there. I knew it would be. Because of the juices. Not too bad, actually. I want the goodies. Or you can give the dog. Oh, yeah, where's her little plate? Those for Sally. Those are for Sally. And this butter is for you. Yes. Okay, now I gotta make my omelet, the rest of mine. You're pretty. And then I'm gonna put my. God, this sucker is hot. I have to bring it over here where I want it. I think I'm gonna put that on top. I'm gonna fold it over, yeah, kind of. Yeah, just do a fold over. Oh, yeah. You forgot to put the stuff in it. I'm not going to put it in it. I'm going to put it on top. Look at that beautiful omelet. That beautiful omelet. Give Sally some. Give Sally some eggs because we love our Sally and she loves her eggs. Eggs are good for dogs. And don't hit this area. I want all the sauce. Ooh, Mexican style. Yes, indeed, Mexican style. Let's get some salt. Let's get some pepper. Byron's butt rub. Bad Byron's butt rub. I always forget the bad part. Put a little bit on mine. A little bit on yours. Mm -mm -mm. And you guys, we are going to call this breakfast. I have got an enchilada beef omelet, and Harry has his ground bison and egg bowl, you guys, for breakfast. I want to take a taste test. Let's have a taste test, shall we? I need a, oh, I'll just use this big spoon. This just looks really good. Yeah, I'm curious about that because you made that. God, how many days ago you made that? Well, is it what you wanted? I'll let you change. Is it like Mexican y? It's or? very good. Blow it's hot. Oh, it's real nice. Isn't that good? It's delicious. Doesn't need cheese, it's just perfect. It's perfect just the way it is. Chewing. Gotta eat now, folks. Delicious breakfast. Hello. Hello. So I'm getting us our leftovers. We got leftover steak. We got leftover chicken. And Harry's having a steak. I'm having chicken. And then we're going to have some orange cream ice cream that we have in the refrigerator. So I'm going to take his steak and nuke it. It's a leftover day. When I say nukes, it's leftovers. Yep. And then I'm going to heat my chicken up. Yes. No, no. Just a minute. Sit down, baby. Yeah. There she goes. Can you go down, 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 down? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she's a good girl. Yes, she is. She's a good girl. Anyway, you guys, we're having leftovers and we're going to use some kicking it up a notch horseradish mustard. And then we'll come back and share our ice cream with everybody. But that's a lot of chicken. I still have stuff left. I know. I'll have to make a chicken omelet. Mm. No, tomorrow's our five. Don't forget, you guys. Eat good today because tomorrow is 500 calories. Oh, mad day. Nothing like Chernobyl chicken. Chernobyl chicken. Hey, everybody. We've got ice cream. Mm mm mm. This is the orange sickle. Oh, wow. Mm, 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 mm. 
Let's see this one. I put a squirt Ooh, yeah. of Mio orange vanilla in mine because I just like the more enhanced flavor. Yeah. But doesn't that look absolutely scrum dilly -umptious? Okay, you guys, listen, before I before I scoop it up, I just want to remind everybody, tomorrow, you guys, it's tighten up the belt a notch. It's an OMAD. It's more than no more than 500 calories. If you can't do 500, try doing six. If you can't do six, do seven. If you are on limited or pills or medication or you have something where you can't do that, take away 100 calories. You know, do the best you can and call it a win. Use your bone broth tomorrow, you guys, as your lever to push you through to get past that, you guys. And we'll see everybody tomorrow. No, you need to tell them what's going on with you for the next two days. Okay. So, Chalice is recuperating and she's having some issues. And Dave, her husband, has to go back to work. So, I am actually going, uh, I've taken off Wednesday and Thursday. I'm going to her house to be with her to help her because she is in a lot of pain still. She's having major uh, leakage from the wound sites. Um, they took the drains out and now there's more leakage and she's got some issues. So I'm going over there tomorrow. I am taking some keto chow and some food with me and I'm gonna log it and I'm gonna send that to Harry so he will upload as normal, but he's gonna do his thing here at the house. I'm gonna do my thing at Chalices. So I'm gonna be at Chalices Wednesday and Thursday. Today is Tuesday. So I am gonna do that. I'm gonna stay keto and we'll go from there. Anyway, everybody, I'm gonna close out this vlog so I can dish up this delicious ice cream. If you guys like what you see, please like, subscribe, ring that bell. Give me a thumbs up and we'll see you tomorrow. Remember, all mad, 500 calories a day. Cinch up your belt, ladies and gentlemen. We'll get past this. It's just one day and we can do this together. Let's kick it up a notch in November.